uh, Cameroonian by nationality. I'm a sales executive in a private company here in Dubai. I've been in a situation, I've been associating with uh, Muslims, and they've been telling me a lot about Islam, and with their way of life, I've been cherishing and admiring it so much. I began yesterday here with a question which was rightly answered, but with some other questions in mind. I could not accept Islam till all such questions have been answered. So it's a privilege once more again today to bring before the audience this one more question, after which I'm going to declare my intentions and my view of Islam. So my question is this. When you get to a company, let's say you purchase a new car, you take this car on the road, and you get to discover that there is something missing from this car. Let's say the horn, you discover that it's lacking. I don't know, in your mind, what do you think? Is it that they did not put the horn, or something happened for that horn to just cease, or what? I don't know. Relating it to the world in which you are in, I want to ask whether the world as a whole, which was created by an almighty God, somebody who is so powerful and the most intelligent being in the world. He created the world, we got into it, and we are today looking for peace, 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 peace. Where did this peace go to? When the world was created by the most intelligent being on earth, is it that he made an error somewhere, or we are looking for something that he did not want it to be in his world? Thank you. Brother asked a good question, and he gave an example that if you buy a car, a new car, and then you find that there is no horn, so is there something missing? With this analogy, he says that today, in this world there is no peace, everyone is looking for peace, so did Almighty God, did He create peace or did He want human beings not to get peace? Brother, you asked a very good question. I'll give you an example about the car. You know the new BMW car? The latest model 2012, the high model, you know, 7 series or even a Mercedes. And it's a true story. Once when I was traveling with my friend, he told his friend that, go and park my car. So when he went to the car, he said he could not find the ignition key. Ignition key. So he phoned my friend and asked him, that, where is the ignition key hole? So he started to laugh. The new cars don't have ignition hole. It is the latest technology. If the key comes close to the car, automatically it senses. You push the button, it starts. Latest. So if you're outdated, you may not know that there is no key hold required in the latest car. This is automatic. So you're searching for something, it is very close to him. But he could not understand it because he did not know about it. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as far as peace is concerned, the main source of peace is as -salam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator, is the main source of peace. If you cannot understand the Creator, you will never come close to true peace. There are different types of peace. Some people think that if they get luxury, if they get facilities, they get peace. These are all temporary peace, not the true peace. The true peace is peace of heart, peace of mind, peace of soul. When your heart is at peace, when your mind is at peace, when your body is at peace, and this can only be achieved by understanding the Creator. So those people who don't understand the Creator, they are running after mirages. You know when you go in a desert, you see mirages. So you run after mirages because you don't understand. And to understand the Creator, as I mentioned earlier, you require instruction manual. You did not read the instruction manual of the latest BMW and you are trying to find out where is the ignition key, where is the horn. You read the instruction manual, you will find horn, you will find the ignition key, hold, as well as peace. 
And I do agree with you. Many people talk about peace. Many countries talk about peace. They are talking about their personal material thing. About the security, then you get peace. The true peace is peace of mind, peace of heart, peace of soul. I don't know about what you are talking about other human beings. Mashallah, I am at peace. I don't know how many human beings you interacted with. I can tell you, Mashallah, I, Dr. Zakir Naik, I am at peace, Mashallah. And I found peace because Islam comes from the word Salam, which means peace. It's also derived from the Arabic word Silm, which means to submit your will to Almighty God. So true peace is, Islam means peace acquired by submitting your will to God. So until you do not submit your will to God, brother, you will never acquire true peace. Hope that answers the question. Really? Hope that answers the question, brother. Yeah, I've got the question. So are you prepared to accept the new peace? Really, doctor, thank you very much for the clarification. At least with uh, that in mind, I've really acknowledged Alam as, I've really acknowledged Islam as a learning institution, as a school where we learn to benefit ourselves. So as from today, I want to be part of that school to learn the right way of life. But do you believe that there's one God? I do believe. Do you believe that Jesus is not God? I do believe. You believe in the messenger of God? I believe. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the messenger of God? I do believe. Is anyone forcing you to accept Islam? Nobody is. My Are you doing out of your free will? It's a free will. Out of your own conviction? Exactly. No one is pressurizing you? No pressure. Mashallah. Inshallah, so I'll read Arabic and then you can repeat it. Ashadu, Ashadu, Allah, Allah, Ilaha, Ilaha, Illallah, Illallah, Wa Ashadu, Wa Ashadu, Anna, Anna, Muhammadan, Muhammadan, Abduhu, Abdul, Wa Rasuluhu, Wa Rasuluhu. I bear witness, I bear witness that, that there is no God, there is no God, but Allah, but Allah, and I bear witness. And I bear witness that that Prophet Muhammad Prophet Muhammad is is the messenger the messenger and servant of Allah and soul of Allah. Mashallah, you are a Muslim. And I pray to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala that to guide you further and inshallah through you may He make more non-Muslims enter peace, enter the region of peace. And I pray to Allah SWT to grant you the best in this world as well as the Akhirah. My question to you is that you've said that there are so many similarities between Islam and Hinduism. Does that mean that according to Islam, a person can be a Hindu?